Hello. So Dima, uh, we we're talking about uh, a trip down memory lane, which is um, uh, basically about our memory. So, uh, first question for you: What is your most vivid and happiest memory? And it's of course my childhood um, when I was in kindergarten, and mm-hmm. um, when I had uh, friends we played together. It's my with um, memories. I have a particular memory. Um, sometimes I even uh, don't remember yesterday's day, and um, because it's our routine, uh, and um, all days they repeat themselves like um, similar, and um, so I, I might even forget what what was uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday, but. Uh, but really, I, rem- I, I can remember uh, things that uh, happened to me a long time ago. And um, uh, I remember uh, when I was uh, even uh, five uh, months old or six approximately. Uh, and I was sitting in my mother's uh, like knees and um, Oh, there is a picture actually, and I was grabbing uh, strawberries, and, uh, and there is a picture, and I, I, I remember that moment. Uh, we, we were in uh, our garden, and uh, and our, uh, her sister from Moscow, she visited us that period of time, and, uh, and also I, I remember that uh, that day, period of time, when I was uh, even six years, six months ago. Six months old. And, um, uh, and, uh, yes. mm-hmm. Well, so uh, it's kind of like okay since you remember uh, the stories of when the experience of when you were like child, like uh, in the kindergarten and so on. So it's kind of like very memorable, I think. And uh, can I know, have you ever went to um, maybe a trip or vacation with your family? Oh, uh, vacation? Oh. Yeah. Uh, I can say now on, on vacation because uh, um, I don't work nowadays. I'm studying and uh, not so not so hard. And uh, I we finished our studying for today. And soon uh, I'll have to go back home from from different cities, Kazan, and uh, I'll have a chance of, to work there in Kazan city. And uh, so d- during the period of time when, when I was here and studying, I, I managed to travel to Nizhny Novgorod city, to different cities, Saran, Svienza, lots of cities. So, Mostly weekends, and uh, it's now I'm uh, traveling kind of, uh, no, like particularly on location, I would say. And, uh, and uh, also, a long time ago, maybe 10 years ago, or almost a long time ago, we, uh, we were in Anapa city. It's a, a Kuban, Kuban region resort. Uh, City so, south and west part of Russia, no, Rasisk and uh, other, other cities, Black Sea and Azov Sea. Uh, we were swimming there, vacation also. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I, I like the spirit of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, well. Um Having to study while well, having uh, kind of like vacations, it was kind of difficult, I guess, I suppose. So uh, I guess you're, um, I don't know, maybe you can create another memorable memory uh, along your way. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to say something else, Tina? Oh, I think I finished. <laughs> 
Okay, then. I will be back to you for the next okay. question later. Is that okay? Okay, thank okay. you, Dima. So, um, Yumika. Hello, Yumika. Hi, Nana. Hello. Nice so, yeah, nice to meet you today. <laughs> so, Yumika, um, the first question, same as others. What is your most vivid and happiest memory? Mm. If um, I saw my best friend, um, we go together, go to uh, maybe traveling or go to hiking. This is a good memory for me because I uh, I just little have free time. So that's why if when I have free time, I make a beautiful memory in my life with my friend, my best friend. I just have three best friends. If I go where uh, we will together. So for me, this is my best memory in my life. I have beautiful friend and kind and so care. Yeah, for me this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the best one is with your friends. That is nice because, uh, you know, like friendship is a uh, very beautiful uh, aside from having the family members, right? <laughs> yeah, I come in Hong Kong. I forget how long I stay in Hong Kong, but I meet these guys, two people until now. Just yeah, just two people, my best friend. Uh, almost we together. If we have free time, we together. Maybe we go to. Uh, we like to hiking. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we go to another country together to make a uh, real like. But this is just rarely, maybe just uh, one year, one time, two years, <laughs> one time. Mm -hmm. But for hiking, if maybe one week or two weeks, uh, yeah, together, mm -hmm. make, make uh, fresh in the brain, make memorize good. Thank mm -hmm. you for giving me time to talking. Sure, sure. Well, it's nice actually uh, going hiking with your friends. I mean, like, uh, it's so memorable for me, uh, even for you. I mean, like, uh, I have never went on hiking with my friends, so I don't know how 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 does that, that experience work. So yeah, it's nice of you. I mean, like, uh, you have nice friends, nice time, and just a great place to go. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Would you like to say something else regarding maybe your happiest memory, Yumika? My the best memory until now, in front of me, my kid still baby. <laughs> <laughs> because I live like it is just baby. So I don't know how, how tall my kid, but in front of me, my kid is just baby. This is my good memory. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I don't know how, uh, I don't know what kind of experience as a parent. So, yeah, I guess, um, we all, uh, you all, parents all see their babies as some, someone who is so related to them. So, yeah, it's nice for you. Well, thank you so much, uh, for your answers on that. Yumika, it was great. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll be back to you for the next question later. So now, let's move on to the next participants, the one from Indonesia. I don't know your name. Can you see who is it? The other uh, one from... Actually, I don't know. We can move to... Evana, uh, Mega. What, 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 you, what you say? Sister yes, Evana okay. and Mega from Indonesia. Oh, Evana. I guess it's Evana. So, hello Evana. Are you there? Hi, I'm here. Can okay. you hear me, guys? Yes, yes, I can hear you. <laughs> so, Evana, what is your most vivid and happiest memory? <laughs> oh my gosh mm, Okay guys uh, First of all I'm going to say Thanks a lot for I, I don't know who invited me to Come to uh, This <coughs> Call And I think Yeah I, I do want to say thanks a lot Because uh, you know I like to practice my speaking And I was listening to you guys The topic is so <coughs> Nice and uh, maybe uh, uh, actually, I'm not feeling 
bad right now, but it's okay. I just try to give my opinion. Uh, the happiest, <laughs> the happiest memory that I have had in my life is, um, um, maybe I will say that I have a parents. You know, uh, they always mm -hmm. support me, even um, I am in a how to say like my conditions. You know, is not. I, I can say that maybe I'm not lucky. Uh, like other women, something like that. But I am so jammy because my parents always support me. They love me so much. And uh, <clears throat> whatever I do in my life, uh, they always give me the right way. Maybe when I did something wrong and my parents always uh, give me no. And they always... They always um, make me strong, I can say like that. Mm. I know, uh, actually, um, how to say, like, it's not be easy for me to be a, uh, <laughs> maybe like I'm doing right now, but uh, because I, I have children, I have a daughter, and I have a son, and, you know, actually, um, I'm feeling blue right now because I, couldn't talk to my daughter. Uh, actually, I miss her so much. Yeah, because uh, he was she was offline, and I, I couldn't I couldn't call her. Uh, but I, I have to think positive. Maybe um, she has. Maybe she was uh, out of data, or maybe uh, she didn't have good internet connection yeah something like that so now I, I couldn't i couldn't talk with her yeah i just can pray i hope she will be okay right now mm -hmm. so if you want to uh how to say like actually uh uh i don't know what should i tell you guys about the best memory that i have ever in my life because uh, maybe when I was a child at that time, you know, when I was in elementary school, um, we had, I had so many friends, so we could play together, yeah, we could play like, you know, traditional games, and yeah, that um, make me happy. Okay, mm -hmm. guys. I think that's all because now I, I can't think better. Yeah, because I'm thinking <laughs> about my daughter actually. Okay, thank you guys for listening to me. Okay, it's okay. I mean, like, um, I think it's good enough. I mean, like, um, I guess uh, a lot of us would agree that the most special memory would be us with our family members. So, yeah, that that is kind of nice. So, thank you so much for sharing that uh, memory with us, uh, Ivana. So. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so now let's move on to the um um the one with the code number two seven. Anyone know? Hello there. Uh, afternoon, everybody, or evening to you guys. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon for can your you flight. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. So what is your name? Oh, okay. Okay, my name is Latabo. Or actually, let mm -hmm. me just put it this way. Uh, okay, let me just put it this way because I know that some people that might, that might not um, understand my name or pronounce it well. Mm -hmm. um, you can just say Sean. Yeah. Sean? Okay, yeah. made it. So wh where are you from again? South Africa. Oh, oh, South Africa. Okay, got it. Yes. So, uh, Sean, uh, the first question, mm -hmm. famous others, what is your uh, most uh, vivid, happiest memory? Oh, shit. The happiest memory. <laughs> uh, man, this is going deep though, but okay, let me not take your time. Um, my happiest memory, I can say, when I first started um, acting back in 2021, um, voice mm -hmm. acting back in 2021, that's like 
uh, almost two years ago. So yeah, it was my um, biggest memory ever since I have um, started um, the entertainment journey because when I started, obviously, it was something that I had to, um, you know, feel that I'm part of people. I'm part of um, the people that are doing. Um, I can say entertainers or such, or of such. So yeah, I mean, I can say a lot about that, and I'm also proud to say that I'm also someone who who does also radio. Um, as I told you last, when I said yesterday, when I joined. Um, yeah, so I guess um, there's a lot of things that I can say about that, and uh, yeah, but that's that's all for now that I can say to you guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that is nice actually So it's kind of like related to your work, right? Yeah, it is, yeah mm-hmm. So you enjoy being, um, having to work uh, Are you a, uh, what again, a voice actor? Yeah, a voice actor I've been doing that for mm-hmm. more than, for all, 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 all three years now Oh, that's nice actually I've never met anyone who is a voice actor before, so it's kind of like a new experience. (laughs) 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 That's fine. Actually, I will share the link to our YouTube channel so you guys can check it out later on. Okay, sure, sure. We'll check it out. Thank you. And uh, uh, let me ask you one more thing. Let me ask you one more thing. Uh, do Do you have any experience of doing things that you regret in the past? Oh god Doing things that I've, I've never he, Oh my goodness Um, What I can say is When I was a child I was rough Because I regret being that kind of a child Who's like rough You know doing Bad things and you know I can say like Tearing clothes and all that stuff. So I regret doing that, but now I'm someone that, you know, I appreciate everything that I have, you know? Mm-hmm. Whether it could be new or old or whatever it is. So, I mean, I just learned to appreciate whatever I have. Mm-hmm. I got it, I got it. So, yeah, yeah I, I can understand that. As a child, we, we are kind of like more rebellious or something like that. But it's fine, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, by the way, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, I mean, like, uh, it's wonderful uh, to hear that. Thank you so much. Um, uh, uh, um, okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so uh, now I'll move on to the next participant. Thank you, Sean. And let's move on to the last one, Sira Judin. Is that right? Yes, sister. Okay, so Sira Judin, what is your most vivid and happiest memory? So there's a lot of uh, my happiest memories. So I would like to add someone here, uh, which is more important for me. So... I would like to tell you about my uh, departmental life. Uh, I think uh, four or five years ago, uh, when I was hardly completed my intermediate, mm-hmm. uh, some of my friends they just well, they were just trying to apply for a job. And that tourism department is one of our provisional department. And uh, you can say they uh, announced some new uh, vacancy. And some of my colleagues, they just wanted to apply for the jobs and to, to apply for the weekend post. So one of my friends told me, Siraj, let's apply for this job. And I told them that I am not interested to apply for any job because I don't want yet. But uh, one of my colleagues, he was inst- insisting that, Siraj, you have to give us a company because we are applying for a job. So you also, let's try it. Actually, I didn't have any intention to apply for it, but I just gave them a company and I applied for their job. So as I applied for the job, so the next day, uh, I think after one week, uh, after one week, and the tourism department called us for physical text, test. Okay. So with my friend uh, to Peshawar. Peshawar is, uh, uh, you can say, the capital of our province. So we went over there. I passed the physical te- physical test 
physical test was they contain on uh, uh, one mil, one mil run running, and I passed the one mil running and physical test. After that, we returned to home, and I was not any intention. I I didn't have any hope that I will be selected in the department or not because uh, by chance I was applying with my friend. Uh, mm -hmm. So after one month, uh, the government, the department called us for uh, initial test and the written test. So we have passed the both test. And after that, uh, I was at that time I was, uh, uh, you can say I was uh, uh, working in the private school as a teacher. So mm -hmm. one day, uh, one day our department, uh, someone called me from the uh, landline number, and I picked the call. Who is that? So he said that I am assistant controller from the tourism department, and you uh, are directly informing that you have to report to the office tomorrow uh, for interview. When I reached uh, to the interview, then I qualified uh, for the next step. But I was not hoping at that time because you know at that yes, time yes, uh, the corruption was growing. So it was really important um, that uh, the government is collecting the uh, employee in order to uh, their own and personal interest. Because at that time there was not much merit. So I didn't any hope from the department, but after five or six months, they called me that uh, you are selected as assistant sub inspector. So I was so excited at that time. So when when I when I when I just come to know about this news, I just returned to home and I informed my mom that I am selected. So I was so happy and excited at that time because mm -hmm. I didn't have any intention. I was just by chance applied for that job, but uh, it. Fortunate for me that I got the job. So this moment was so interesting and so uh, you can say the excitement moment for me even in my life. So.